Here we have a 1999 Wellcraft Martinique 3000 uh, triple axle trailer, 6,000 pound axles, uh, freshly waxed and buffed this year, uh, 33 pound Bruce Claw anchor. Um, see some of the trailer detail there. Zoom out a little bit. He has a full camper canvas. The uh, back half is taken off. Has a real nice cantilevered bimini over the back. No pole supporting that. Provides some nice shade. Zoom in here on the stern drives. You have the trim tabs uh, with a single ram. Uh, Volvo SX drives. Uh, aluminum props. Uh, <coughs> Both of the stern drive uppers have been replaced, so they have less than the 965 hours on them. Um, going back, you have the uh, built-in swim platform uh, close to the water. You do have the fold-out ladder between the drives city water connection right there uh, storage for your fenders going around to the other side you have the shore power up on this side two 30 amp inputs and a cable input air horn up there nice uh, stainless steel railing around the hole uh, front of the boat and then there's also a windlass up there for the anchor the uh, canvas on top is all custom canvas, um, pretty good condition. Uh, it's all 40 thousandths thick strata glass. It's all vinyl back umbrella for the roof, so absolutely waterproof. Here from this angle you can see the uh, camper canvas um, as it's in its normal position put up. Uh, nice visibility, nice uh, straight angle on the back so that you can sit in the seats back there without the canvas. Uh, hitting the back of your head. Again, here are some uh, features of the custom canvas. Each front dash panel is individually removable. Uh, nice big UV stabilized uh, zippers. Um, do have the walkthrough door to get up to the bow. Um, on both sides, uh, you can see the, the cutout here it was um, custom made to fit in between the railing. And that uh, zips out so you can roll it up and it ties up here on the little loop. Again, the, uh, the rear, rear camper canvas is the same each piece. So this side, the middle piece, the side, and the other side here, um, they're all individually removable pieces. For the, the big piece in the back right here, there is a replaceable screen. And also for the one in the middle and the front, there's a screen that goes in there. Uh, looking around again, you have a little uh, little door back here, transom door. And then behind here is another little storage area for ropes and such. Going to the back, uh, back in the cockpit or aft cockpit. You can see there is a movable cushion, lots of storage, and then you also have the uh, center seat here. Uh, this seat is uh, is movable. So, in case you want to do some fishing or something off the back, get a lot of room back. Here we are getting on the back of the boat, uh, custom carpeting here on the back. Um, do have a transom shower, hot and cold. Little trunk back here, uh, pretty deep, goes down underneath the back of the boat. Nice cushion on the back, U-shaped seating. Again, uh, newer custom carpeting in the cockpit. You have a little window down here to provide some ventilation to the mid cabin. There is a table that uh, fits in the middle here and also turns into a sun pad. There's a filler cushion. Um, over on the left side here, you have an ice maker. And you have a little, little sink up here too. Moving up, you have a little uh, passenger seat here, some storage. Uh, captain's seat, a flip up fire extinguisher, you can see the uh, new stainless steel uh, dash panel put in, all new switch covers, 
all with the labels. And uh, they do light up. You can turn them on. Kind of neat. Um, have a unit in uh, VHF radio, Garmin 182C color, um, compass, Bruno radar. Uh, it's black and white LCD. So then uh, from the helm going down, slide open door, uh, steps going down. So you get in there. It's a nice dinette. The uh, table here does lower down and become a, a berth. Uh, you do have the refrigerator right here. Uh, a little storage drawer here. Nice cedar lined locker right up here. Uh, to the uh, port side, you do have the galley. So you have a two burner electric stove, uh, microwave. Good storage up here. Obviously a sink, hot and cold water, uh, cutting board. Then again, some nice under cabinet space and three drawers, pull out and latch. Turn around, looking back, there are steps up. Come down into the mid cabin. Uh, do have another cedar lined locker here. And here behind this door, this is a switch panel. Uh, it is the AM FM cassette player, radio, and uh, does have a CD player, a uh, six disc changer. Um, in the mid cabin, it's converted down to the bed right now. Uh, probably sleeps about uh, about six foot three, pretty comfortably. Two people side by side. Uh, these cushions <clears throat> do go up and stick here, and this floor comes out, and then it makes a nice little uh, opposing seats. Uh, you can see the filler cushion up here, and one there. Those go in the main dinette, and there's a little vent window in the back. Um, Behind that panel over there is uh, the holding tank, and then this is actually storage right here. Do have uh, the cockpit cover stored in there right now. Again, off to the port side is the head. Uh, little dome light up top. Uh, vacuum flush toilet, hot and cold water in the sink. A little storage space down here. And then three drawers up here so looking out the back of the boat we have the engine hatch up it is just manual lift and i did remove the two struts that hold it by a little easier access you can see the uh twin 5.7 liter Volvo penta gs engines uh, 350 chevy blocks um you see the trim tab pumps down there in the back there is one bilge pump there one down in the back um on the uh, starboard side you see a uh a seacock and a strainer for the air conditioning system. Then on the port side, there's one for the uh, um, the generator. To move around, go down in. You can see the Fireboy automatic fire suppression system. You have the generator back there. And there is a full sound enclosure for that. Just took it off so you can get a good view of it. Twin cylinder Kohler. I also have the water heater right there. Then you can see there's one. Group 31 deep cycle battery there, then there's a group 24 starting, another group 31 uh, deep cycle there, another group 24 starting, so down in the engine compartment. 